Perfect. Santiago, I would like to go with you again. We've had some good catches. You were the lucky boat. You stay with them. But remember how you went many days without a fish, and then we caught big ones every day for three weeks. I remember. I didn't think you left me because you doubted. Papa who made me leave. He hasn't much faith. So do we have? Don't we? Yes. Your luck will come back one day. Mojito for the lady. Senior for the gentleman. Thank you. They had a good catch. For some, yes, the weather is good. And your car, senor? We're waiting on a water pump. The mechanic thinks it'll arrive in a day or two. You are comfortable upstairs? Very. Thank you. I don't care if we ever get a water pump. Most uh, Americans are impatient, no? I have nothing but time. That's good. Can I offer you a beer on the terrace? Why not? Between fishermen? Maybe I could be a fisherman. You'd wait for me at the front door with loads of children scurrying under your feet. Charming. I don't amuse you. Not today. Ah, Santiago. Huh? Huh? No luck. No. How many days now, my friend? Too many. Menace of curse in the village. He was one of the best. His look is like a black cloud. And soon it's gonna poison all our boats. <laughs> Can I get you some sardines for tomorrow? I have sardines. I'd like to be of help in some way. You want me a beer? You're already a man. The old man. His grandfather, you think? I don't know. You're the writer. I know where I can get four fresh beets. I have mine from today. I put them in the box. Let me get you four fresh ones. One. Two. All right, two. You didn't steal them. I would. I bought these. No, let him be. Just gonna talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Santiago. Hmm? Who are you? Fine. Um, everyone knows that you are the great expert of baseball. No. Yes, <laughs> yes. And my friends and I, we, we were discussing about the Maggio and why his hits are so few these days. And we thought that perhaps being an expert, you know, you, you might have an opinion. When he's playing with an injury, a spur in his foot. You see, I knew something was wrong. And now I know why. I know why he runs like an old woman. You're mistaken. Even with an injury, the Maggio runs like a deer. If you say so, but it is my opinion. Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Santiago. But it is my opinion that the Maggio's good days are behind them. There is reputation, exceeds his performance. Yes, yes. But you see, that is not so unusual, for they say that you were once the greatest arm wrestler in all of Cuba, from Havana to Matanzas. They say many things. They say that you once defeated the champion in a contest that lasted two days. But I myself, I find that very hard to believe. Come along, Andere. Yes, come. We'll have a another minute, beer, just huh? A minute. I'm talking to Santiago about arm wrestling. He says he was a great champion once, and I would just like the honor of engaging a great champion. 
You're a fool under this. Well, old man. Do you decline? No. Sit down. The boy will be the judge. You make sure the positions are, are fair. Are you ready, old man? Ready. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. Ay, 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 ay. Made a mistake. Look at that arm. Hey, that is not the arm of a champion. That is just a old withered tree branch. <laughs> I'm afraid I would snap my arm like a matchstick. Right. <laughs> Santiago, excuse me, but I was misinformed. Lopez, bear for everybody. Santiago. Don't ruin us all with your bad luck, old man. Don't. You would have won. Not today. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Where are you going? Far out. Don't go too far. Your boat is small. You'll be alone. There's a fish out there waiting for me. Well, uh, I'll get my father to work far out, too. That way, if you catch something really big, we can come to help. <laughs> he doesn't like to work far out. His eyes are not so good anymore. I will see something that he doesn't. I get him to go after Marlin, like you. Yeah. You, your eyes are still good? Yeah. You're certainly strong enough for a big fish. I think so. Besides, there are tricks. You have something to eat? Yellow rice and fish. You want some? No. I'll eat at home. I'll make the fire. No. Oh. I'll make it later. First, I'll sit out here in the sun and read my paper. It's yesterday's. Lopez gave it to me at the terrace. I will read about the baseball. I'll be back with the sardines. You can tell me about baseball. <laughs> oh, will the Yankees win? I have faith in the Yankees. Think of the Majo. Yeah, but I fear the Indians of Cleveland. Oh, the Indians And of the Cleveland. Tigers of Detroit. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll be back with the sardines. <laughs> Excuse me, Lopez. I would like to buy some food. Tired of your mother's cooking, Manolo? We have fried bananas, black beans, rice, a stew. Give me a little bit of each. You will eat it here? No, no. 
and two beers. Two beers. How much is that? Uh, I will put it on your bill. Thank you. You're a good boy, Manolo. Sun's gone down. You're very quiet. I brought you some oranges, papaya. Thank you. Mama's picture's not on the wall. Oh, I put it on the table. I can see it less. Makes me too lonely. Come inside. I'm very comfortable here. Papa, come inside. Bring your chair. You won't stay long? No. Good. Thank you for the fruit. 84 days without a fish. You want to know how I know? Lopez's brother works in a market on the same street where we live. Oh. Even in Havana, we know about Santiago's oh. bad luck. Papa, Rodriguez moved out. We have an extra room. Things are going well. We don't need to rent the room anymore. I talked it over with Tomas. You come to us. You have your own room. You sit, read the paper, listen to the radio. I can do that all right here. I don't have to go to Havana. Look at this place. You and Mama didn't bring me up in a place like this. Now you live like a hermit. An old shack, dirty old blanket. That's good enough for me. Ay, ay, ay. Same old story. Papa, for years I've been saying, leave here, come to Havana, and you always say no. I go out every day, I catch fish, I'm a fisherman, but God isn't giving you any more fish, Papa. He's saying it's time now. He wants you to come with me to Havana. Oh, now you know what God is thinking. I know he doesn't give you any more fish. I think you're getting old. Uh, God will give me a fish. A great fish. When? Tomorrow. And if not? The next day. If you die, the shame will be on me. There's no shame for a man to die the way he has lived. Papa, please. I love you. Thank you. And please, let me stay here and, and look for fish. Papa, I'm sorry to say this. You're too old. Oh, excuse me. Manolo, you know my, my, my daughter, Angela? A great pleasure. Well, what have you brought? A black beans and rice, fried bananas, and some stew. You see, I'm well taken care of. <laughs> You're a stubborn old man. And a great fisherman. Was I talking to you? Come on, Very well. Like Do as you please. If the fish don't come, you'll change your mind. I'll be back. Who gave you all this? Lopez, at the terrace. I would have to thank him. I thanked him already. I'd have to give him the belly of a big fish. Yeah. Lopez is a very thoughtful man. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Tell me about baseball. Are you sure you want to hear all that again? Yes. Well, in the American League, it is the Yankees. And the Maju makes a difference. But they have other men on the team. Naturally. 
I would like to thank the manager of fishing. You know, they say his father was a fisherman just like us. Just, just as poor. Dick Sisler's father. He was never poor. Oh, but Dick Sisler was a great player. Still in the other league, I pick Brooklyn over Philadelphia. <laughs> Remember when Dick Sisler came to the terrace? I wanted to ask him to go fishing. <laughs> oh, I was, I was too timid to ask him. You asked me to ask him. <laughs> That's right. I was too timid. Yeah, it was a great mistake. He would have gone fishing with us. Then we would have that for the rest of our lives. Now, tell me, who is the greatest manager, really? Dov Luque or Mike Gonzalez? Well, I would say they're equal. And the best fisherman is you. No. I know a lot better. There are many good fishermen. There's some great ones, too. There is only you. Thank you. You make me very happy. I hope no fish ever comes by so big, you will prove us both wrong. You have to go to bed soon. I wake you up in the morning. You're my alarm clock. Age is my alarm clock. Sleep well. Mm. Santiago, I had the best teacher. I hope to become as great a fisherman as you. Skill with the net, all the line, all the gap. Does not make a man a fisherman, Santiago. One must always think of the fish. We must kill them to survive. But we must never forget the value of their lives, their beauty, their courage. <laughs> you sleep? Very well. How do you feel? Confident. <sighs> Me too. Thank you. Your wife is still asleep. Most Americans sleep late. I like early mornings. Quiet. No interruptions. Uh -huh. You are a journalist? No, not at the moment. A fine writer, then. Writer, yes. Fine is open to question. You must be hard work. It is right now. At least for me. Senor, would like some breakfast? Later. You don't mind if I work here? No, no. For me, it would be an honor. Bye. 
have nothing to eat. For today, I have enough. Come on. Good luck. Good luck to you. The one alone in the boat. He was here yesterday with the boy. Ah, Santiago. He goes out alone? Yes. Are they related, the old man and the boy? Not by blood, but by affection. The old man has taught the boy to fish. Now the boy goes on another boat. The old man's bound to catch something, isn't he? What can I say? I worked this for a week. And I caught nothing. Another day here is a wasted day. I have no time for that. If they hear me talking out loud to myself, they'll think I'm a crazy old man. When did I start talking? Out loud to myself. I used to sing. In the old days. But the talking. That came after the boy left, I think. I'm not crazy. And since I am not crazy, I don't care what anybody thinks. The rich. The radios on their boat, and they listen to baseball. Now is not the time to think of baseball. You have to think of only one thing. The fish. Bird, you want to come and ride with me? No. <laughs> you have no faith. Virgin fishermen must have faith. And some luck. A lot of luck. Good morning. Good morning, Senor. Uh, would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Morning. Good morning. Slept well? Uh-huh. 
working? Yeah. Something new? Notes. Notes? For what? A short story, a novel? I don't know yet. Oh. Don't sound so disappointed. I've been taking notes for a long time now. Time is relative. Einstein. Time discovers truth. Anonymous. You made that up. Perhaps I did. That fisherman. That old man we saw here yesterday with the boy. You're changing the subject. That's right. That old man has been out for 84 days without catching a fish. Maybe he's doing something wrong. Around here, they say he has bad luck. It's one way to explain failure. You're all hurt. I'm glad you noticed. I could tie the rope around my toe, sleep and drift. And wait. Today's not the day for sleeping. Today I should fish the best I can. something to eat. Do you make eggs? Of course. Senor? Yes, eggs. Fine. Are you going to see about the car this morning? Yeah. He's not just looking. He's found something. The bird is a big help. Bonita, Fortuna. Oh, thank you, my friend. Could be mine. This far out could be very big. This month could be huge. Fish. Please make a turn. 
Come back. <laughs> Smell the sardines. They're hard, cold, and tasty. I lost them. Oh, damn it. He's gone. He's come back. He was just making a turn. Don't play games with the fish. Eat it. But do not eat it. But do not play games with me. He's taken it. He's taken it. Eat it. Swallow it. Come on, fish. Swallow it. Swallow it. Fish. I am being pulled by a fish. I could make the line fast. But then you could break it. I'll have to hold him while I can. Thank God he is strong. Not going down. I wish I could see him. Then I would know what I have against me. What if he goes down deep? What do I do? I don't know. I'll do something. Okay now. Shouldn't give you any more trouble. Oh, thanks. Yeah, nice car. Did you bring it down from the States? Yeah. Lucky to find a water pump for this model Packer, even in La Habana. It's better sell up. You interested in selling it? Selling it, the car? Mm -hmm. I have a customer who's looking for a model like this. I'll make you a good price. This car's been a lot of places with me. Sometimes you need a change, both you and the car. I sold the car. What? A hey, Nino. For you. Thank you, Senor. Let's get a drink. Here you go. Thanks. Was that a joke about the car? No. You mean you actually sold it without discussing it? With you? Yes, I guess I did just that. Sorry. Is this the beginning of something I should know about? Are we ridding ourselves of all our worldly possessions? That car was big and flashy and ostentatious. And that's what we loved about it. Beginning to need a lot of work. Today, the water pump. Tomorrow, the world. So what's on the schedule now? 
I'd like to stay here for a while. Here? Meaning this town? Yes. You like it here, don't you? The thing I, I would like most is to know a little about what you're thinking. Well, you know. I've been thinking about that old man. 84 days without a fish. I mean, how do you deal with that? Maybe you should ask him. People are very private. They just don't go up and hit them with a question about their feelings. You're liable to get an answer like mind your own business. More politely, probably. Probably. before sunset. Maybe you'll come up before that. Maybe you'll come up with the moon. Fish, I'm still strong. And you, you have the hook in your mouth. Why did you do that, fish? Are you tired of the hook in your mouth? I'm damn tired, too. First blood to you, fish. You're still too strong for me. Manola, I'm all right, huh? for two fish. I'm here with a friend. Paperback. Pull him up a little. We'll jump. Just gently. Come on. Come on. God. You are like a tree. Give me some line. Come on. Second round for you. You cut my hand. Why did I let you do that? I must be going crazy. I better pay more attention to my work.
What time is it? Two o'clock. Bed. Can't sleep. The old man didn't come back. Come back to bed. You better get some sleep. A little while. I wish the boy was here. I also wish I had some salt and lime. Lime! Lime! What? I found them. Oh, good. Cut them and squeeze the juice all over the fish. It's good with lime. I went. You first took me out into the boat. You always ask that question. Oh, I like to hear the answer. You were five. And I was almost killed. Yes. How was that? I told you. Here. How was that? All right. I brought in a fish to green. We nearly tore the boat to pieces. I can remember the tail slapping and the banging and the, the noise of you clubbing. I remember you throwing me down onto the bow with the wet lines. And then the whole boat started to shake. And the noise of you clubbing him, it, it was like the chopping down of a tree. The smell of blood all over me. You remember because I told you all of that many times. I remember everything from the very first day. This is good. Everything that comes out of the sea is good, except Portuguese men of war and sharks. But you can't blame her for those. What was the biggest fish you ever caught? <laughs> I don't remember. You remember? I've seen some great fish. I've seen some fish that weighed nearly a thousand pounds. Uh, excuse me. Cod, I asked. Cod? Two. Yes, two. That, that size. A thousand pounds? Yeah. <laughs> Were you alone on the boat? No. You were not with me. No. It's not right that I wasn't there. It was 
was here when I came here 10 years ago. I was working as a busboy in Havana. A cousin who was from here told me about a job as a second barman here. And I was so tired of carrying dishes, so eager to move up into the world. So I came here, and I've been here ever since. Quiet, people are good, hard work and honorable. Never is there trouble. But what about the old man, Santiago? Uh, he was alone even when I came here. His wife had died, his daughter was married, living in Havana. So he was very much alone. But he's a proud man. Keeps to himself, very little to say. And I am very fond of him. And during these bad times, I had done what I can. But like I say, he's very proud. And whatever I can do, I must do through the boy. Is he the oldest of the fishermen here? Who can tell? Here a man catches a fish, who doesn't catch a fish. That is the only difference. Why are you so interested in this man? Because he hasn't caught a fish for 84 days. And he hasn't given up. There's a dignity there that's extraordinary. Writers think that way, I suppose. He didn't come back yesterday. Who? Santiago. He went out in the morning, but he never came back. Excuse me, I must uh, serve the others. Don't you care? Respect. More important than life, respect. All right, fish. I admit it. I'm a little tired. My head is light. If you're not tired, you, you must be very strange. I would like to show you what kind of man I am. I would change places with you, fish, if I could. Down there in the darkness and the cold of the sea. Come on now, fish, and face me. I challenge you one to one, man to man. minutes past five. I made you promise, Absalom. <laughs> when I was young, I could beat anyone. If I wanted too badly enough. Fish. I will stay with you till I die. And you will stay with me too, I suppose. Oh, I wonder how it feels being in an airplane looking down on the sea. I would like to fly slowly and look at the fish. Why 
Why is it, do you think? Why is it what? Fruit and drinks. What about it? Fruit and drinks in tropical places. In northern climates, they drink alcohol straight. Availability. The abundance of fruit in the tropics. You think that? I do. Would you like to hear my theory? I would. I think that in the tropics, people drink for pleasure. In northern climates, they drink to avoid depression. Well, that's a theory. I don't like all this fruit in my drink because I am now drinking to avoid depression. Are you bored here? I feel at loose ends. I, I don't I don't feel very useful to myself or to anyone else. I can't leave here right now. Something is happening. I have to find out what it is. If I don't, I'm lost. Where does that leave me? I love you. You know that. Do I? Where are you going? I don't know. Wait for me. Wait for me. What's the matter, hun? You have a cramp? You can't. I'll open you up myself if I have to. Come on, hand. Help me. Please. That's it. respect you very much. But before this day ends, I will kill you. Did you see such No, I haven't seen 
And please, please don't do anything foolish. My God, I wish the boy could see this. Be gone. And strong, little man. I want to see you. I want to see you clearly. Come closer, fish. Please come closer. I've been waiting for you for, for a long time. fish which was my brother not to work sit with you. Sure. The old man is your friend. We've been fishing together many times. How old is he? I don't know. What difference does it make? Will he come back? Yes. And with the fish. He's a great fisherman. It's more than that. Once, I was in the boat with him. And he hooked one marlin of two of a bear. The female. She always feeds before the male. And the female fought against the line. And the male crossed and made circles. Santiago was afraid he would cut the line with his tail. But soon Santiago gaffed the female and clubbed her. And the male, which was at the side of the boat, jumped high in the air to see where the female was. He was beautiful. And he had stayed. The old man said, that was the saddest thing I ever saw. I was sad, too. How long did the male stay? Till she was butchered. We live this way. I 
must go now. Is there anything we can do? No. He will come back. I would stay by the boat. What? Like the male marlin. If anything ever happened, I would be there. Maybe more. At 30 cents a pound, uh, I need a pencil for that. Maybe it was a sin to kill this fish. Why? I was born a fisherman. The fish was born a fish. St. Peter was a fisherman. So was the Major's father. Anyway, I loved him. So there is no sin. Come on, you have no understanding what sin is. Fifteen hundred pounds. Home soon, fish. Where you been? Well, I asked around and found Town Hall. Got a hold of some official and told him that a fisherman had been gone for two days. And? Well. I got a lot of smiles and assurances that this was not unusual and that there was no way of keeping track of all the boats. Lopez gave me the same answers. What about hiring a boat and looking for him ourselves? We wouldn't have a chance in hell of finding him. And I don't think he'd want that. So you think we should just do nothing? We're not doing nothing. We're waiting. Like the boy, we're waiting and trying to understand. That's something, isn't it? I woke up, and you were gone. I should have left a note. Oh, my God. It was too good to last. He's going to hit me. Cannot stop. I can try.
moon. And on the rope. Fish. You're bleeding. Soon there will be others. Don't think, old man. Sail this course. And take what comes. But I have to think. That's all I have left. That and baseball. <laughs> Joe, I hit him. A good clean hit. Not a home run like you, but a good clean hit. The wound is bleeding. They will come back. I have to protect myself. I wish I had a stone. Sharpen this knife. But I didn't bring one. It's all right. Don't think of what you didn't bring. Must think of, of what you have. I have hope. And think of hope. And the good old days. Santiago and Maria in matrimonium in nombre de patres. Maria, accite a un hom singe singum matrimonium nostre benedictat vos only vos deos. Pater et filios et spiritus sanctus. Amen. you, I will take fish from the sea as long as I live. That comes in many forms. I'll take it in any form. Newspaper of today? Yes. May I borrow it, please? Behind the bar. Thank you. You can keep it. Oh, thank you. You cannot read. Are you sure? You seem to be reading. Of course. Baseball. The old man taught him.
We can't hear you. Making a fool of yourself calling out like that. He can hear me. No sound is lost. Every sound from the beginning of time is still in the air. Who told you that? He did. Sound is lost when there's no one to hear it. He's out there. Maybe alive and maybe not. Why? Because foolish people like you tell him what a great fisherman he is. Tell him how strong and cunning he is. Truth is, he's an old and weak, no, stubborn man. No, you know nothing. Be quiet. You live in the city. You walk into a store, and the food has been through many hands. And then you open your purse, and the food is yours. Don't preach to me. I know this place. I was born and raised here. I know the life. We're talking about my father. Yes, and... Sorry. Have you heard anything from someone, someone who's seen him? No. Cousin of Lopez who told me said he went far out. That's true. People will say, Angela, you didn't take care of your father. Angela, good daughter, provides for her father in his old age. God knows I tried. My next life, my father will be a tailor. my knife. Don't show it to your brother. Sorry, Fish. I wish I... I have never hooked you. This makes... Everything wrong. I shouldn't have gone out so far. Here for me. Or for you.
I dreamt that the fisherman, the old man, was picked up by a big boat, a liner. And in my dream, the, the boat looked like the Rex or Conte de Savoia. They picked him up and gave him a big dinner. Risotto Milanese, Asso Buco. Oh, the food looks so good. Are you hungry? No. Wake me if something happens. Okay. You're tired, old man. Tired inside.
He's back. You saw him? The boat, but it's still far off. I thought you wanted to know. Manolo. Thanks. It's nothing. I saw the boat. Oh, thank God. What's that? It's Sunday. I'd forgotten. Let me help you. I'm all right, I said. Truly beat me. The fish. He didn't beat you. No. Afterwards. The sharks. The sharks. Hey, wait. Let me help you. No. Please. No, no. Please. Please. Stay here. Yeah. Sure. 
Sue. Sue. Santiago! Yeah, they're calling you. I'm not deaf. Santiago! This is a truly great fish, Santiago. This is a champion fish. And your bad luck is over, old man. You're not unlucky anymore, Santiago. Did you sleep? Yeah. Are you all right? Just my hands. What did you catch? One on the first day, two on the second, and two on the third. Very good. I can go fishing with you again. I have much to learn. Yeah. We'll need a good killing land, and we must always have it on board. I lost my knife. I have another. How many days of bad weather do you think we have? Three or four. My hands will be healed by then. I'll have everything ready. I missed you out there. What a fish. A great loss. But a great gain. You see, to be destroyed, but not defeated. What do you think about the Yankees? How are they doing? They won. Twice. I didn't have a radio on the boat. <laughs> Tell me, did Marshall, he played? Well, again. Yes, Tomasio, yes, well, again. He's got a spur. It's gone. It's gone. It runs like a deer. No. That operation was good. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So, what, they're, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna win the pennant? No. Definitely. I have faith in the Maggio. <laughs> now you are becoming like me. 